What's going on guys, it's Harrison's Hobbies. Today we're gonna to be opening up a sword and shield booster box of base set. So I'm hoping to get the Zacian V um, Gold Secret Rare, which is the card of the set. Um, if you watch the first opening with the booster box, or the Elite Trainer box, excuse me, you know that we did not get so lucky, but that's okay. It's a very rare card. Um, so like I said, I'm not 100% sure on the ratios. I know that they're very hard to pull. And I think that they are like one, I wanna say they're one in every two boxes for a gold. Um, I could be wrong. So first half of the box here, 36 packs in Pokemon booster boxes, which is ridiculous. Very large boxes. So you get a lot of product. They're great ways to guarantee pull rates. I'm not sure. I haven't been watching videos, so I'm not really sure what the uh, what the pull rates are like for Pokemon nowadays for per boxes. I'm not really sure at all, to be honest. I, I don't know if I'm expecting a. I don't know if I'm expecting five ultras or six ultras or eight ultras. I'm not sure. So we're gonna just hope for the best and see what we can do. Go pretty quick. Um, you know, I keep the. As you guys know, if you watch the first video for Pokemon, I really like to kind of organize everything. So my uh, commons are gonna be off to the side here, whereas our uh, trainers and um, energies will also be in their own pile. So it's all kind of different. Sizzlepeed Reverse and a Dreadnought Rare is our first card of this opening. Worth note noteworthy, not really noteworthy, but. So yeah, so I'm hoping for eight. Eight would be insane. I, I know I opened a Roaring Skies booster box back in the day and it was eight. It was a, a, an amazing box, eight pulls in one box. So if we can replicate that, I'd be pretty happy. But I think they've definitely gone down since Roaring Skies was out back in the day. I've only opened two booster boxes ever for Pokemon. And this will be the second one as we get a Copperaja Hollow Rare, which is nice. Uh, my Hollow Rares, I'm gonna be using these, the rest of these black Ultra Pro, Pro Matte sleeves, and then for the Ultras, I'm gonna be using these blue ones, very blue. Hopefully to go with our blue accented sword Pokemon. You know, sword was a uh, blue, and shield was more of a reddish pink color. So. That would be really cool. I would hope that if we do pull it, oop, I actually showed the code card there. Um, it's a green, so let's just see what we get. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a. Rillaboom reverse rare, which is nice, and the rose rate is a rare energy retrieval. So, anyway, um, long story short, let's get something good. Let's get something crazy. I'm feeling, feeling frisky. I'm hoping for the more the merrier when it comes to box hits. Um, I'm also going to be using penny sleeves for reverse rares, just because I think they're cool, you know, and why not, but rose rate is a rare, anyway, Snorlax VMAX, that card's really cool, I'd like to pull that rainbow rare version, so I think you get one secret rare, like hyper rare or uh, and or kind of thing per box, I don't know, I really don't know. I think you get a couple full arts. You're guaranteed maybe at least one full art. That's This is where I'm uncertain because I haven't opened them in so long. So that it's an experiment for me as far as, um, is that a, it almost like a reverse, but it's not. Um, it's an experiment because I'm gonna be opening up several boxes as you guys have seen. I've got lots of boxes on the channel to open up. And Teleon, that's another reverse starter rare, which is nice. And then a Torkoal V full art for our first ultra rare, which is actually really pretty. Torkoal V, fully, fully arty. That was a nice pack. So Torkoal V full art is our first ultra rare of the box. So we'll see how we're doing at the end. It'd be really cool to get a reverse rare Cinder Race rare since we just got a Inteleon to go with our Rillaboom, which you know, hey, that's kind of cool. <laughs> so drop in the comments below, have you guys been opening these packs? Are you guys getting five, six, seven, eight boxes? Um, I know it's a per, it's not per box either. It's kind of more of a, you know, 
they, they can vary maybe between um, certain certain ratios. I don't know. Shelter, Crow Gunk, Silicabra, Pokey Kid, and a Masharna. Pokey Kid being a reverse, which is nice. It's gonna be a, a boatload of commons by the end of this video. Like, it's gonna be insane how many commons there are. You get like 4,000 commons per box. <clears throat> Trying to be nice and quick. These are longer openings because of just how many packs there are. Um, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh's got some 36-pack boxes, but they're all, like, the usually duelist packs and stuff, so they don't usually take that long. Pokemon Catcher. It's a trainer card. I don't know what the trainer of the set is. That's why I'm keeping these code cards, guys. Um, you know, in the future, I will be giving them away, um, giving away code cards, but for right now, where did my reverse pile go? Oh, Okay. For right now, I will be keeping them just because I want to actually participate in the online TCG, and I don't have anything, so. I, I used to uh, run that shit up with my <laughs> deck. Um, what deck was it? It was the, get something good hopefully here. Um, Reshazard. Reshazard, I think, is still relevant at the time of this video, so. Lucky Egg. Pokemon card knocked out from damage. Draws. Wow. That's nice. Um, maybe that's a good... See, seems like it'd be a good trainer. I don't know if it's banned or not. I don't know what the banned card is. Cramorant V is our ultra rare from that pack. Which is kind of cool. Some black accents. She looks nice with our blue pro mat sleeve. Regular V, nothing too crazy, but still a nice pull. Rip this bad boy open. Unfortunately, I did show that code card, so you guys kind of knew that there was something coming. But that's why these, what makes these videos fun, is when they don't show. You don't really show the card. Something I, I'm not the biggest fan of, but I understand that it's also meant to help prevent pack weighing, which is very important because there's nothing worse than buying packs thinking you're going to get something great and then it's weighed vitality band reverse knocked out non hollow rare <clears throat> so it looks like we're um a few packs in here maybe maybe halfway through the first box maybe not not quite There's so many packs <clears throat> 18 packs per side to be exact Pretty cool, pretty cool. There's a Metal Saucer, Rotom Bike, and Big Charm. There we go, so there's a trainer pack. That's what we like, trainer packs. Snom, Malwile, Glossifleur, Goldeen, Sobble Reverse, nice, and an Obstagoon. That's pretty sick, actually. Galarian Obstagoon, another Pokemon I ran in my first playthrough ever on Pokemon Sword. It's pretty awesome. Galarian Obstagoon. His move Obstruct is pretty good. In the game. I didn't really even read it on the card. My bad. Probably would have been cooler if I did. Oops. What kind of things are you guys excited for me to open? Do you guys want more booster boxes and elite trainer boxes? Or do you guys want more, like, collection boxes and... Um, like random things like random blister packs i used to buy random blister packs when i was uh you know kind of like similar to how i uh, bought those battles of legend and that was back in the day when i was doing collecting um you know with hidden fates and stuff so misharna non hollow tell me which one you guys prefer we'll just have to see Speeding up, trying to speed up. It's just so much to open. Energy retrieval. Ferrothorn. Nicket ball toy. I didn't mean to do that. It's okay. Diglett and Roserade again. <clears throat> you know, to speed things up, I could. I've, and this is something I've always thought about with when opening packs. 
<clears throat> is actually look at the code card. And if it's white like that, we can do the card trick. And if it's green, then we just don't bother because the card trick just builds up suspense. Whereas not doing the card trick just takes forever with every card. So booster box opening videos can definitely easily be like 30 minutes long if you do it this way. All right, let's see what we get. Hoot Hoot, Reverse, Mud Bray, Boom, Marnie, which is a hollow. That's actually really cool. I'm all about hollow supporter cards and stuff. That looks pretty nice. So Marnie, hollow. Each player shuffles her hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck. If either player put any cards on the bottom of their deck this way, you draw five cards, your opponent four cards okay seems decent seems interesting so i think i'm gonna do that and you guys just let me know in the comments do you think that's cool or not so like that's a green card we're just gonna open this quick um looking maractus and inteleon energy no trainers in this pack so lots of commons maractus which is a common Reverse Inteleon Rare in a Energy. That's how much faster that is. And it's just a little bit quicker. So we got a white card here. Let's do the card trick. Boop, 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 ba doop, ba doop, boop, 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 doop, ba doop. So white cards can be hollows or um, ultra rares and stuff. So, it, you know, getting a hollow doesn't mean necessarily getting anything good. You could just get a hollow, which is better than not getting anything, I suppose. All right, Crushing Hammer. Oh, Stone Journer V. I was kind of hoping that was Regirock, but that still looks really cool. I think someone was telling me Stone Journer was actually good. In 220 HP, it's a basic guard press. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 20 less damage after applying removing some resistance. 150 for three is actually not too bad, I feel like. So, but then again, I haven't played in a while. You guys tell me. All right, getting close to the end of this half. Another green card here. So, Krabby, Galarian Stunfisk, which is a um, uncommon, a rare stone journer, oddly enough. And an energy switch for our trainer, which... I feel like I almost wish that in Pokemon card packs you're guaranteed a trainer card. I feel like that'd be nice, but you're not necessarily guaranteed a trainer. And then you get like three trainers in one. And that's that's what I think helps trainer cards stay at high value when it comes to people collecting um, or, you know, play, people playing the game. So that's a reverse rare Masharna there, which is nice. Um, Clay Doll, Lightning Energy, Ornator Rod, and a BD. Played all was a rare, yeah. Okay. The beta. <laughs> beta. Anyway. Neat. Musharna. We're gonna penny sleeve up Musharna. Okay. Yeah, I think I like that better than any any other thing I've seen so far. So white card here. Let's get something nutty. You know, for, for past experiences, I really do feel like most of the time, booster boxes are better on the second half. So maybe I can prove myself wrong here. Corvus Squire, that's a cool picture. Uh, Ghastly, Pound, Pounty Yard, Sizzlipede, Yamper, Clobopus, Rhyhorns are reverse. More Peck OV, that's actually really nice. I'm glad we pulled the more Peck OV. A V Max already, so that's pretty cool. I really like the new style of these ultras, the more peck of V. Pretty cool. Nice. So three regular um, V cards and one regular, or one full art V card. We have not seen a full art trainer or a full art V Max. So the second half of the box is going to be pretty good. Statistically speaking, Rotom Bike, Reverse, Rillaboom, Rare, and a Potion. 
So there's our four cards that are worth anything in the middle there. And um, getting a lot of reverse rare trainers, which is nice. Rare potion. All right, so we're going to organize a little bit on this side before we get in the second half of the box. Um, the second half is definitely going to be sped up quite a bit just because we're going to do this new method that I, I kind of like a lot. Um, so, you know, keeping those reverse rares in one pile over here, keeping these regular rares in one pile as well, just helps me out, and it's pretty cool. Hopefully everybody's having a good afternoon. Let's go ahead and get into the rest of these packs. Zashin V. You just never know what you're going to get. Starting this side off hot. Let's see what happens. Four cards. All righty. Water energy. Hop. Oh, Pokey Gear 3.0. I used to run those in my deck. Uh, we got a Pseudo Voodoo, a Grookey, Sobble, Rhyhorn, Rosalia, Pharaoh Seed, not the reverse, Salazzle, Professors, I can't talk, Professors Research, nice. Pro Professor Research. Discard your hand, draw seven cards, that's pretty good. What if you have one card in your hand? That's real good, that's what that is. All right. Green card here. Shelter, Doug Trios, our reverse, a Turtonator Energy, and a Potion. So, nothing crazy on that one. That's okay. Can't have a crazy pack every time. Green card again. Glare Meow. Wulu, Pharisee, Knocked Owl, Green. So no energies. That's okay. Zamazenta. Lightning's been pretty good. White colored code card. Let's see what we get out of this one. So, so far on this half, I think I've got can't even remember. I can't remember if we got more Peko in this half or not. That's bad. Dotler, Corvus Square, Great Ball, Sizzlepede. I think Great Ball is actually a, or maybe it's Quick Ball, a gold rare. Um, Snom, Gruki, Scent of Scorch. That's a rare. And, ooh, it's a Celebi V, which is beautiful, actually. I kind of wanted that one. Oh, wait. Let's use the, the blue. The blue color. Celebi V. Yeah, it's really pretty. Celebi V is nice. There's a Mew V in Darkness and Blaze, so I'm kind of excited to open that one. Centiscorch V being the um, reverse rare, which we are penny sleeving those, I believe. Did I say that? Looking over the camera here. Okay, cool. That was a good pack. Had a great ball in it as well. Still have not got, I've got one full art and it was a V, not a V Max. So, hoping we get something crazy pretty soon. Let's see, we got a Muna, Drapion, and a Citrus Berry with a Emergency Switch also. So, some commons. Let me know as a viewer of Pokemon Unboxers what your favorite method to watch is. Like as far as what they do, what the content creators do with the packs. To me, it's just not fun watching packs that are, you know aren't going to have anything in them. You know what I mean? So. Now if you want to build the suspense because you got that white colored code card, then yeah, by all means, that's the way to do it. Like right here. Four. Fire. Haunter. Thwacky. Palpad. Sobble. Pinchurchin. Blipbug. Rhyhorn. Minchino. Reverse Rare Rhyperior. And a Santaconda Hollow. Nice. So Santaconda. A Hollow for us. 
and a reverse rare Rhyperior, which is always nice. Reverse rares are fun. Rhyperior. That looks awesome. That's a cool picture. Okay. Not bad. All right. About 20 minute mark here. Another white card. Still waiting for that rainbow. Hopefully we can pull a rainbow or something. I don't think you're guaranteed a rainbow anymore. Energy Retrieval, Ferrothorn, Heatmore, Minchino, Galarian Ponyta, Cottony, Score Bunny, Silicobra, Pounty Yard is our rare. Ooh, there's a Wobbuffet. Nice. Wobbuffet. We've gotten a lot of V cards, man. Quite a lot of Vs. Not very many V Max. In fact, zero. To be, to be exact. A big old fat zero would be the answer. All right, so we've got uh, 10 packs-ish left. Getting close to that three-fourths of the way through. Hopefully, we are seeing something crazy soon. We got a green one here. Um, an air balloon reverse. And evolution sense. That was a good pack, I guess, for a good non- non hollow whatever pack because there was um, multiple trainers and uh, the reverse was a trainer which is always nice all right Zamazenta on this one mm. oh I can't wait to crack open those cosmic eclipse man those are gonna be so cool Raihorn Okay, nothing crazy here either. So, uh, Chin Chow, Grap Locked, Citrus Berry, Zashian, bless us, bless us, Zashian V. Green again, a little dry streak for us. Grap Locked Reverse, which is a rare, that's nice. And a Thievil, Team Yell Grunt. So, got a reverse rare at least. Which is not terrible, but not great. Wonder I'd be interested to see like how many reverse rares per box on average you get. Green again. And church and blue blood, scorpy, cinescorch, crushing hammer, and hyper potion. Okay, just a few packs left. Can we get another Ultra? We actually have, I think we have six Ultras right now, which is not great, to be honest, because we haven't really pulled anything worth worth anything. Worth a floop. So this would be the very bad booster box. Um, if, this, if there's only six Ultras per box, this would not be a good one. This would probably be one of the worst ones I've ever seen. But we're going to stay positive. We got... Five packs remaining. Zamazenta. Bless us. The king of defense. White colored code card. There we go. Our luck has changed for the better. What can we get here, guys? Lightning energy. Pokey gear 3.0. Aurora energy. That's our first Aurora energy. That's nice. Some Ferrothorn. Silicobra. Golden Yamper. Scoruppy. Sanaconda Reverse Rare, and an Inteleon Hollow. So nothing really, again, um, Hollow Rare Inteleon, which we got a Reverse Rare of, which is cooler. And a Sanaconda Reverse Rare. Okay. Four packs remaining in this Booster Box. What the fiddlestick, okay. Torkoal V was the best thing. The Torkoal V uh, full art was the best thing we've gotten, and it was a long time ago. <sighs> All right, here it is. This is it. I'm feeling it. Fighting energy. Galvantula. Galvantula. Pokey Kid. Krabby. Cufant. Boltoy. 
Salandit, Galarian Ponytop, Professor's Research, and a Stonejourner VMAX. There we go, Stonejourner VMAX. Our luck finally has changed at the very back of the box. So that's a ultra rare full art VMAX Stonejourner. Very nice. Three packs remaining. Can we make it a, you know, an, another one? Can we get another ultra rare? I've got a Zamazenta. I've got a Lapras VMAX. And I've got a Stor Storlax. Like, go to the store and relax. Snorlax VMAX pack. This is another white card. Whew. All right. This is it. Another big one. Come on, baby. Give me that gold, Zacian. Give me the gold, baby. Ride on. Big charm. Wacky Thwacky, Diglett, Pharaoh Seed, Goldeen, Joltik, Rosalia, Grookey, and a Keldeo V. Keldeo V. So many regular Vs. Maybe, maybe that's, that's all right. That's better than, you know, a lot, you know, I don't know. At least I haven't got more than one of the same thing. That would be quite silly if we did. Do all this stuff. So Rhydon was a uncommon he would be a rare one. Uh, right here, here is this. All right, two packs left. Lapras V Max. Can we get another white colored code card pack? It will be the last pack of Destiny if we do, because this is a green one. Shelter Reverse. Okay. Pulte, you guys, and a couple trainers. Quick Ball. Only Quick Ball we've gotten in this whole booster box, which is quite insane. All right, guys, last pack of Destiny. It's been a decent little box, but can we make it a godly box? No, we can't. Pinch Urchin, Cramorant, Air Balloon, Palpad. All right, guys, we'll summarize the pools here in just a second. So out of this, I pulled... Several reverse rare hollows, uh, Professor's Research, which is normally a hollow rare, Sanaconda, Grap Locked, Rhyperior, Senescorch, Misharna, Inteleon, and Rillaboom, which is nice. So pretty cool. Pulls there, actually. And then I pulled several hollow cards. Um, Inteleon hollow, Sanaconda hollow, Professor's Research hollow, Marnie, Galarian Obstagoon, and a Copperaja. Some nice cards there. And we pulled, I think, five or six... Let's see how many. Lots of Vs. Keldeo V, Wobbuffet V, Celebi V, Morpeko V, Stonejourner V, and Cramorant V. So that's six Ultras right there. We actually got a two Full Arts, Torkoal V and Stonejourner V Max. So not the greatest box, but we did get eight Ultra Rares. Um, now out of those Ultras, we got zero Secret Rares, but that's okay. We got eight ultras. So if you're not going to get any secret rares, you don't, at least you're getting eight ultras. So not terrible box, um, you know, pull rates, I think, but hopefully our luck will change one day and we can get that Zashin V card. So thank you guys for watching. Um, videos coming as often as I can make them and, um, you know, like make sure to drop a subscribe if you're new and like the video if you liked it. And if you didn't like it, then, uh, like the video anyway. Thank you. We'll see you next time.